Currently, there are 562 Native American tribes in the United States. Many of them, like the Navajo, Hopi, and Zuni, have stories of otherworldly beings visiting Earth. Often referred to as star beings, these alien visitors are said to come down from the sky to teach mankind. And in some cases, they are even said to mate with human women, resulting in the birth of star children. The stories of star children are quite common in Native culture. There can be quite a variety of forms of that sort of thing as well. But typically, there's a star and a human being that join together, and a child is born from that union. They were then cared for and raised by the Indian tribes until the age of six, when the star beings would return and retrieve the star children and leave the entire tribe staring up into the night sky, wondering what had happened to them and where they'd gone. That's quite an interesting story in itself, to give birth to a star child and, and then have it taken from you. There's also the story of some star children have been left behind to become interwoven into the tribe. A lot of them later in life become elders, even at a very young age. And that's because they're believed to carry the ability or the knowledge to heal the earth. According to the Hopi people, a tribe of more than 18,000 living on a reservation in northeastern Arizona, it is the star children who will ultimately repair what they call the Koyani Skatsi, meaning a life of corruption and turmoil, or life out of balance. The Hopi believe the earth is out of canter. It's not balanced any longer. And it's these star children that live among the Hopi that advise even the elders on how to put the earth back into balance again. The star kids' job as they grow up is going to be not only to inherit the earth, as the phrase goes, but to reform the earth, to remake human society. In the Hopi legend, it is said that the star children will prepare humankind for the arrival of what they call the blue star and the kachina, or star being, who will arrive with it. There's a lot of debate what the blue star is. But when the blue star comes, it will crash to the earth. This dwelling place in the sky will crash to the earth. And the blue star Kachina will take off his mask in the village plaza. And that will be the end of the fourth world. Many Hopi refer to the blue star as a house in the sky, leading some ancient astronaut theorists to suggest that this prophecy is a reference to the impending arrival of extraterrestrial life. Some Hopi refer to the blue star as a house in the sky or a dwelling in the firmament that one day will descend from the stars amidst a fiery crash. Now, what does this mean? To me, what is described here might be the eventual arrival of extraterrestrial craft. The day they will return will change mankind's history forever because then the truth will be revealed to the masses in one instant for everyone to see.